Hey everybody, this is Jimmy Blevins coming at you with a tutorial on split testing with the Divi Builder. So what I've got set up for you guys is I, I did two just quick and easy call to actions to show you um, kind of what I'm talking about. So Divi has this built-in feature called split testing where you can have two, say you have just like this, two different calls to actions and you want to see, you know, is one of these going to convert a little bit better than the other one? So what'll happen is if you set up a split test, half the people that go to your site will see like this top one, the other half will see the bottom one. And then you can, you can kind of begin to gauge, okay, does this picture work better? Does the green button work better than the brown? Those kinds of things. And you can just keep tweaking it a little bit to see which one converts the best. So I'm gonna show you how to take this and set it up in a split test. So let's come back in here into the Divi Builder. And this is where my page is. I've got both of my call to actions here. Um, I'm going to set up this top one as my split test, this row here. So what I'm going to do is we just right click on that and then we select split test. So this is going to pop up a little message to let you know that you can um, select what you want to split test. So I click OK and you notice my cursor has changed to this blue circle. And I want to split test this row, so I'm going to click here. So congratulations, your split test is ready to go. And what it's going to do is it's going to start tracking um, by percentage how many gets, how many the first one gets, how many clicks the first one gets, or how many clicks the second one gets. So this is set up. I've got my first call to action set up here. I don't need to do anything with it. But what it's done is it's made a duplicate. So I click here on this, these arrows, and this pops me over to my second split test. But it's going to have the same call to action. So all I need to do is just drag my other call to action up here. And then we want to delete this one on top. And I'm going to delete this row. And then I'm going to just hit update. So now what's going to happen is if I go to the page, it's only going to show me one of these call, call to actions that I just put together. And that'll be the one that if I come back to the website, I'll see every time. And here's the thing. If you want to make sure that your split test is working really well, um, you can go ahead and use like a, a a website like hide.me or PageWash or something that'll give you a different IP address and then you can bop in here to make sure that your other split test is working but so this is what popped up as you can see the other one's gone this is the one that it gave me in the split test and that's everything you have to do that gets everything set up for you um, in the Divi Builder so now when I come back in here in a couple days there'll actually be a percentage here showing me um, like which one was clicked on the most and I can click back and forth to see my call to action one or my call to action two. So that pretty much shows you everything to do with split testing and how to set it up. Um, it's a really simple thing to do and it'll help you with your engagement and your conversions on your website. So once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much for watching.